this rather fabulous looking motorhome is Katargo's new liner for two. Now this is the first time we've ever seen the fashionable new C-shaped rear lounge in a motorhome that's under eight meters long. The liner part of the name, well, it is a sort of liner in miniature, although still a substantial and very high spec motorhome. Based on a Fiat Ducato chassis, 4.5 tonne as standard. This one's actually been upgraded to 4.8 tonnes with Alco's optional air suspension. 117 grand is the starting price, 146 grand as you see it here, and that's before you even add a satellite dish or an awning. But you still have got nearly 800 kilos of payload in this vehicle, even with the options, but with the chassis upgrade. Now, with all that, you need lots and lots of storage because this is a motorhome for taking on that grand tour. As you'd expect with a Katargo, there's a heated double floor and the storage here goes right the way across the vehicle, deeper on the outside, but loading right through the van. As well as the double floor, which incorporates very generous fresh and waste water tanks in a fully winterised position, there's this massive garage with capacity for 450 kilos. Now, if it looks a bit small for getting your bikes in, don't worry. Lift this panel out and your bicycle wheel drops in there. Push that up and you've got plenty of height for the handlebars. Considering this Katargo has liner in its title, it doesn't feel huge. Width is a fairly modest 2.27 metres. Well, it drives beautifully. This one's got the 177bhp engine Fiat flagship motor mated to the semi-automatic gearbox, which isn't always the smoothest, but it seems to do a decent enough job on this model. Alco's air suspension seems to be smoothing the ride. But the best bit, and something that Katargo have always been good at, is the visibility forward. Because this dashboard dives away in front of you, you can see the road nice and close up, and it's not nearly as daunting to drive as most A-classes. You've got decent view behind too, with these big bus-type mirrors. The whole raison d'etre of this motorhome is this lounge and this has to be one of the best lounge areas I've ever seen in a motorhome. Now C-shaped lounges aren't brand new, they've been around for a couple of years now and Concorde, Detlefs, Frankia all off them but this is the first time as I said it's been done in a sub eight meter motorhome and it's still very very sumptuous. Doesn't have to make a bed so this is just about relaxing and dining in the ultimate comfort. Just press a button and a 40 inch telly appears magically from behind the sofa. Plenty of room for one person to recline across the back there, full width of the van of course, but what about if you're sitting here? Well you don't want to be second best do you? So just press this button and you have what is probably the only electric recliner in a motorhome. Now I could probably sleep here, but if this lounge doesn't make a bed, where's your bedroom? In a rear lounge layout like this, you might have expected the cab area to be completely wasted on site. But actually, it's converted in a few easy steps into a very, very comfortable bedroom. This bed is 1.99 metres long. That one's 1.89 metres. They're both extremely comfortable thanks to these plastic springs that the mattresses sit on. You've got a second telly in here. You've got plenty of headroom, plenty of ventilation. The only thing you can't really do because the windscreen's here is sit up in bed. Although you could perhaps if you propped yourself up with a load of pillows. But that aside, I'd be very, very happy to sleep here. Then not only have you got a great bedroom, close off the toilet door and you've got a great ensuite as well, a proper changing room. Double wardrobes, top and bottom, lots of drawers under the ends of the beds, a really good shower. Not only have you got this rain shower above, but the usual handheld or on the riser bar and this rather unusual sort of brick finish on the walls, all very smart. And then on the other side, well, a big toilet area, 
usual cassette toilet but the ceramic bowl type. The whole thing works as a full width ensuite and changing area. Really works well. This kitchen is not short of neat features, although it is short of an oven. Wake up in the morning and you're probably not going to want to go out for your coffee, so coffee machine is provided. Corian worktops, of course, with this drip catching lip, very nice too, and very posh tap for washing your veg if you do decide to do some cooking on this three burner hob. Lots of drawers, all beautifully soft clothes, and when it comes to driving, just press a button and they're all locked shut. Over here, neat pantry unit for all your tins. And then my favorite bit is this slide out unit here. That includes your waste bins. And how neat is that? 